Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil Trigger, and uh, today I'm coming out with you with another Game Theory video. Alright, so for those of you who have seen Pesci's video about the uh, Charge Goal Garmor combo, uh, the specific booster for the Vanguard, you can already tell that that's a pretty good combo. <laughs> uh, Go Paladin is the best trial deck out of the two, because as soon as you have Garmor, you can grab your Charge Goal and then push in for 26 every turn. And remember, when you're swinging for 26, if your opponent has a... Well, it doesn't really matter. If your opponent has a 20... I mean, a uh, 10k Vanguard, they'll need to guard at least three triggers to get over that. Wait, me, me. No, wait. Two triggers. I mean, yeah. Uh, two triggers and, you know, a little extra to kind of stay safe from uh, drive checks. Either way. Well, as we all know, in this game, you want to force out more guard more guards as possible. Um, and, you know, there's diff there's various ways to do that, but this is actually one of the best setups, and I'm so glad I made this kind of setup, uh, this kind of unit, just because it lets the game be more aggressive than it already is. Um, and today, like I said, I wanted to talk about Dragon Dancer Rai Rai um, and her clones, basically. Uh, they're all pretty much the same. When they boost a specific unit, for her it's Thunder Break, for Charge Goal it's Garmore, and uh, I think it's like lightning something <laughs> for Angel Feather uh, when it boosts uh, Kyriel. Uh, you can basically Soul Blast 1. Yeah. Yeah. Soul Blast 1 when it boosts. And it basically gives your other unit 5,000. So in essence, it becomes an 11k, boot, uh, an 11K booster. Um, along with your limb Break uh, unit, that's already. Yeah, that's 26 total, which forces out at least two triggers, because if they're 10, you know, 20, and then a 30, and then if you get one tri drive check, it'll still go over, uh, so they need to guard maybe with another trigger, or a 5k, whatever their choice is. Uh, but anyways, I highly recommend running this. Um, usually, I'm really against specific boosters, because they're super inconsistent, but if you can do this, do it. <laughs> Um, if you're running Thunderbreak, why not? Why not run the Rai Rai? Uh, Rai Rai, she's a capable booster by herself. She's a 6k, alright? Uh, not many units can break that 20k limit. Um, you know, even then, you don't have to Soul Blast with her. You can already have a limit break uh, Thunderbreak. You can, you can still go for 21. That's the beautiful part. But if you want to force out more guards for a game-winning push, you use the Soul Blast. So either way, it's a very capable uh, booster have a gen in front of her, you know, that's still 20 every turn. And then you can run into your Thunder Break, voila, you're set. Um, it's not too hard to use. Um, and honestly, like I said, it's a pretty good booster by itself. It's a 6k. Uh, it's not like the other, uh, what you call it? not the other Vanguard boosters, which are usually about 5k or 4k, and then, you know, they give a boost or whatever. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend running the units like this, the specific Vanguard boosters. Um, just because they're so amazing, oh my god. Uh, da -da -da -da, da -da -da. Yeah. Also remember, it works as a rear guard as well. So if you have it over here, you have your rim, uh, your thunder break over here, he won't get the, the limit break, remember that. But you can still go in for 21 with a rear guard, which is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, if you guys ever have the chance, max out on Rally Rai if you're going to run thunder break. Um, I would do it one more than the, the number of the limit breaker. For example, if you're running two thunder break, run three of this. If you're running four, eh, run four. <laughs> um, but you get the where I'm, you get where I, uh, I'm going with this. You want to run more right rise. Uh, it doesn't really hurt the deck because she's already a good booster by herself. And if you have these guys as rear guards, oh my god, uh, you can swing with 21, 26, 21. It's it's ridiculous. Um, Narcomis do this best uh, in terms of aggression, but in terms of setup. Gold Paladin and Zoo are the best, because they have Garmor. Uh, or Azel, but Azel is a little bit more random. Uh, but Garmor, you can simply ride, skill, counter blast 2, and then get your charge goal, and then go punch, 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 you know. It's ridiculous. Uh, and you can also set it up as... Ah! Sorry. He can also set up as the rear guard, too. Um, so, in essence, run the specific boosters if you're running the limit breaker. There's no reason not to. Uh, yes, it's situational, but either way, it's a very good card. It's situational, but then again, it's not, because it's just a 6k. It's a it's fine as a 6k. Uh, you have other units that can gain power, or, you know, you... I mean, it's just a good booster. 
I don't know how more how much more to say this. Uh, if you have an Azel and you have a Charge Goal, that's still 16. It's a pretty good number. Uh, you back it up with an which I'm call it with a Gareth. That's 18. There's no real difference in that. Um, you know, you just have to hit the magic numbers, and that's what these guys do very well. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I guess this wraps up this little lesson. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, run these guys. They're so good. All right, well, that's it for tonight, guys. I'll bring out more content tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, peace.